Hello, this is the third episode of extracting a maxillary right cuspid tooth with the Easy Extract system, placement of an implant, bone grafting, and now we're on the third episode, which is seating the final screw retained implant, abutment, and crown. So this is a before and after. You can see this implant, I mean this uh, cuspid, it had endodontics and apicoectomy, just about everything. So here we are before and after. This is the implant with the screw retained abutment and crown. And we'll be talking about seating the screw retained implant abutment and crown in this, as I said, in this episode. Here we are again before and after. So this patient came back to the office after three months of implant osseointegration. It's well positioned. Here's the screw retained implant abutment and crown. So I'm unscrewing the healing abutment. See how our emergence profile is good. I'm going to give you a hot tip here on, in a minute on how to not have loose screws or screw loosening with screw retained uh, abutments and crowns. Okay, so I'm trying on the implant abutment and crown. hand tightening it. Check the contacts. It's not tightened all the way, it's just hand tightened. So here's the radiograph to confirm the seating and it's going to seat just a little bit more once you torque it down to 35 Newton centimeters and there's a way to do that so that you have the least likelihood of implant screw loosening. Now I'm making a seating jig here. If your laboratory doesn't send you a seating jig, you can make one like this. This is just a cotton tip applicator in the orifice. And then this is Lexatemp that I'm flowing on the adjacent teeth so that I know the crown is seating ideally. See this ensures that the crown is positioned perfectly when you screw the implant abutment and crown to place. Even with a single crown, I like a seating uh, jig. So your lab can make one out of Duralon or you can make one of these yourself. So here's the showing how it fits the adjacent teeth. Now I've placed the crown in the jig, put all that to place, and now screwing it in again. Now I'm tightening to, tightening to 35 Newton centimeters. And I know it's seated perfectly because of the seating jig. You can see we're tightening to 35 Newton centimeters. Take a radiograph to confirm. Now this is plumber's tape and we're going to place this on in the orifice of the crown. So you don't have a void in that orifice. If you ever had to unscrew the implant abutment and crown, this is easier to remove. You don't want to fill that entire hole up with composite. And you want to leave about a millimeter and a half of space for the composite. Now I'm flowing the composite on top of the plumber's tape, curing it, and now I'm polishing. Let's check the occlusion, be sure it's ideal. This is a show food disc, polishing disc, get it nice and smooth. Now here's the hot tip of the day. When you're screwing the implant abutment, abutment crown to place, torque it to 35 Newton centimeters, then walk out of the room, go check a hygiene patient, a new patient, something, but wait 10 to 15 minutes and come back and torque it to 35 Newton centimeters again. If you've ever had trouble with screws loosening in an implant abutment crown, what it's uh, clinching can be a part of it, but another part is when you first screw it to place with 35 Newton centimeters, the tissue needs to relax and go back to its original form. And that takes about five or 10 minutes. So you torque it and the tissue may keep it from seating all the way if you, if you don't torque it again. So you torque it, you call the preload, 
and then you go back again in about 15 minutes and torque it to 35 newton centimeters after that tissue has relaxed and rebounded to its original position. So we're going to reference the article that you can read on how to do that. Okay, so we're just polishing. This is a Shofu rubber wheel. Make sure everything is nice and smooth. Check my contacts, got good, nice, tight contacts. Final radiographs, you can see everything is perfectly, uh, it's perfectly seated into the implant. So after photo, right after we've seated it, the contacts are ideal. So before, after, before, after, before, after. So the takeaway from this is be sure when you're screwing in an implant, even if you're screwing in a screw retained abutment and you're cementing the crown, when you're screwing in the abutment or the abutment and crown, torque it to 35 newton centimeters, wait 10 to 15 minutes, and then come back and torque it again to 35 newton centimeters after the tissue has had a chance to relax and go back to its original form and it allows the, uh, the crown to seat maximally. That's the dental minute. These procedures work and they work every time.